it's like 7.30 in the morning and they're going after it, ripping that roof down. We've been listening to a lot of banging all day. Quick, take a picture. Oh my God. They have like a whole team of people that have been helping to kind of clean up all the mess that happens. It's all worth it. Today officially begins the day of a new roof. I have to move the Jeep. The guy's here to deliver shingles. He's gonna throw them here in the backyard. I guess the roofing guys are gonna store it today. Very exciting. Well, it's official. The babes has gone and done it now. Sunday morning, it just so happens to be Easter. Tomorrow is gonna rain and we've been waiting and waiting for the roof to begin. We decided we would store it today. We also had some people over last night by the fire. Hang on, I gotta get through the window real quick. Ugh. Careful you didn't step in there. Yeah. Where are you going? This whole piece needs to be brought back up. Yeah, I'm curious to know how much work they're doing to repair the, uh, the roofing pieces. Yeah, this is a replacement as it is, but we gotta get this fixed and replaced. That shit's barely on there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's in good shape. Just um, down here. There's a few pieces that need to be replaced. And that's what they're gonna do? Yeah. Hey. hey, pretty girl. Tearing the roof off. Is it attached to you? Kind of like scrapes off the shingles. And there's a lot of old shingles over there, and so you can look through this window and you can see it falling off. You can check it out. Pretty cool, huh? day two of the roof redo and they have been tearing off shingles for what feels like a hundred years there was four layers of shingles on the top of our roof the guys have just been tearing all these shingles down on I guess onto tops onto the ground and then also like onto their truck they have like a whole team of people that have been helping to kind of clean up all the mess that happens all along the way the house is looking friggin amazing it's really come a long way we have shingle disasters everywhere we took a day off yesterday yesterday because of torrential downpour type of rain and there was a big leak on the front porch that was going down so it was already not watertight so hopefully when they get to that part of the house they'll be able to airtight it but yeah this is exciting it looks really nice um, the color I think is gonna match really beautifully with the outside paint color and it's just also really nice to not be doing this kind of work because this is a lot of work it's all worth it hey Bob hey what's up what you have to the long-awaited cleaning of the bus. So we have some friends that are coming this weekend. They're gonna come and stay in the bus. So, I figured it was only proper to get this thing cleaned up. Careful, they come. Nice. That'd be the cleanest we've seen in years. We've got some things that need a bit of repair in here. So we've got some big projects ahead of us. But in the meantime, I think it'll just be cleaning it and getting it ready, 
getting the sheets that we bought in here and also new shower curtains which is long overdue because they were disgusting getting all the cutlery and plates and stuff that we had in the house back into the bus so that there's like some minimal supplies for what you would need to stay over a weekend and this is leading up to very exciting project that we're hoping to at some point get red pepper on airbnb stay tuned for more information and a whole bunch of renovations because that is definitely coming ahead like a new toilet we all know that's coming for sure and a new water heater oh red pepper you done us good he's gonna go check it out i guess it looks good quick pause in this video because life is bonkers right now this room is a total disaster and i just thought i would sit down to take the time to share about trova trip and this big expedition that we're hoping to plan for 2023 we're looking at costa rica for a big woman's gathering expedition sometimes in life you just really really need a break and right now is one of those moments but I'm looking forward to planning something a bit more exciting than just like a staycation and I'm looking to share an escape with a community of amazing women who are hoping to have maybe like a yoga experience or explore more meditations, find more support and unity in coming together as women. I'm excited, I know I've mentioned about this trip before in the past in a recent video, but we're just hoping to have a few more of you guys fill out the survey that's down below so that we can really hone in on what kind of exploration and activities we can get into as a group. Traveling together and planning and doing all the things that come with, you know, going to a new country can be cumbersome. And so we wanna make sure that we have all the things in line before planning all the details of the trip because we want it to be something that you guys could enjoy and hopefully come and join us yeah if you guys are curious and wanting to potentially come to costa rica for like a woman's shenanigans zen experience maybe a get away from the kids and the chaos that is house life like what we've got going on over here then just be sure to fill out the survey in the description down below so that we can get a better feel for what kind of experience and budget you would be able to and want to experience without further ado let's get back to construction and madness that is our day-to-day -day life as of late <laughs> if you know us we're always on a project project today is red pepper she's got lots of nooks and crannies that need cleaning and all the stuff and we're over here team working getting her looking good meanwhile odin's eating the ash from our barbecue excuse me you guys coming through are you gonna have to move a little a little more babe this is a small house right. did we forget also how short this ceiling is 100 percent concentration <laughs> so is on it so i can get the hair go team it's hammer time bought these for our shower curtain slash bathroom door oh my god slash privacy space bedroom door all the things i'm gonna have to hem this i don't think i hemmed it last time so the bottom of it used to yeah, just like really dirty. Okay, guys, get ready to drive the bus. Where are you driving us to, Zay? To the American North. We've been so busy lately. Justin's been beekeeping a bunch, so he's been out the house, but we didn't really get much done here in Red Pepper whenever we last filmed with you guys. Zay was hungry for dinner, and you know how it is with the kids. Sometimes you just have to drop everything and make a run for it, so. Back in the bus, Justin is out beekeeping as Ada's at school. She has a short day today, so I'm gonna try and grind and get as much of this done because we have more friends coming here tomorrow and this place is a wreck. <laughs> so let's tidy this place up.
this has been fun. Getting her clean, feels so good. Getting all the finishing touches on there. We still have a few big projects to do before it's ready for tomorrow. And things to pick up, so like since we took our rubbish bin bags from the bus and like the bucket and stuff and put it in the house, we've got to get one for the bus. Just little things like that, you know, that make it feel cozy and homey. New curtains. Those other ones we had are gross, so I'm gonna be hemming these so that they're the right length. And I never actually attached them properly to these hooks up here, and so now they won't get so gross this time. Basically, you gotta just hem it like that. And what is that? Three inches? friends Lisa and Matt are actually gonna be the first people ever to stay in the bus other than us which is kind of wild so I just have to hem these it's fun working with fabric again actually some on here and see if we could actually get the paint off and then actually stain this so it could be like a pronounced wood kind of like the staircase over there oh yeah Where? over here see how this is like a wood color and the oh, yes. it looks like our roofers are back for round three i guess they haven't really started work yet and they're just sort of hanging outside it's been tricky navigating walking around the yard barefoot there's been a lot of nails and sharp things that we've been finding so a little disappointed in their cleanup but we have been using the magnet to clean it up ourselves because i stepped on one earlier today those are some big nails so yeah we've just been trying to make sure everybody's going to be safe and for now i've been wearing shoes around the yard and looks like papa's going to do this project because We've had the solvent that I bought from the Lowe's and been curious to see what kind of wood we have under these things. When we frame out with the dock, I think it'll look really beautiful to have more of a natural wood stain that will match the floors and the railings on the front porch and kind of have everything be cohesive like with the with the banister here too. All right, so what's the deal with this paint stripper, babes? It's supposed to work in 15 minutes. Premium stripper by Clean Strip. Thank you for that salesman voice over. This is not sponsored. Apply a thick coat with a paintbrush to, to a wear, small area. Cut, then you have to wear gloves. You're supposed to wear gloves. Thanks, Ed, for always looking out for me. Oh, that's what it colors. Happiness is the spot. Oh, thanks, Ed. <laughs> I appreciate you. Coming in with their top again. That's the glorious noise of Aubrey getting ripped off. The <laughs> glorious. It's getting weird and bubbly. It smells really nasty. I actually kind of like it though. Thing. I know it's a bad smell. Don't say that. <laughs> it's working. Oh yeah. That's not the wood though. That's wood. Yeah. It doesn't look like wood. It's definitely the wood. It's no, just it's not. All the trim nice. that's upstairs is this like weird tan color. So I think that's another layer of paint. Wood colored paint. I'd love yeah. that, baby. Watch my dog's dog. What? <laughs> Bye, babes. Okay, you guys, it's official. The roof project is complete. We have a few like wood things that the carpenter, I guess, is gonna come by and help us with. But for the most part, it's slick and clean and beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys. This window is like the only window that opens upstairs. So here we are. Hey, Zay, what do you think of the roof? There was a leak, like right here. Wow, interesting. 
I like how they finished it here. You didn't see it from up. So here's an interesting part of the house. I guess there's like three roofs that join and Justin was telling me how they had to kind of come up with their own sort of design for the flashing of this whole area. So you have the water from this roof, it drops down onto this roof and then onto this roof that then needs to funnel down this like V shape because you have this like whole line right here. So it kind of goes into a unique Culture. They have like two layers almost here, it's interesting. And they finish this off nice too. This is pretty cool to see like how the water runs down, runs off here and then kind of evades the base of the chimney as much as possible. It's a clean finish. You happy? Yeah, except for that little sloping area. So there is one part of the very front of the house, of this top portion of roof. You can kind of probably see it further and better from far, far away than you can when you're up close. Basically, these two like eaves, I guess, they come and they join in the middle, kind of off center with the windows, and then that side and this side are both incredibly droopy downwards in towards the windows. So we're gonna have to find a way to kind of lift that up, and that's another project that the carpenter will have to do, because one of the boards at the end is sort of rotted out, so we'll need a new fascia over there as well. But I think overall, they did a good job. We just gotta get the finish around the base of that, so it's clean. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, with a new project on our hands with this big old house. So long. Oh, are we leaving? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bob, sing us the song about the unicorns that you were singing. Oh, <clears throat> are you ready? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> One day long ago, I was walking around with a Zillia princess Zillia. She was showing me her magical kingdom and she took me <laughs> to the top of the tower and she showed me her unicorns. Yeah. <laughs>